bring in Walid Ferris, a Fox News Middle East and terrorism analyst. Uh, Walid, the, the president does not seem to have many good options here. Is there a way for him to fire this shot across the bow, as he's described it, uh, uh, against the Syrian government, make it a limited strike and still be successful? Look, it, the administration case for a limited strike against the Syrian regime chemical capacities is based on the fact that we cannot allow this to continue. But the long-term view of the administration, and the president has, has made it clear, is to force Assad, once he loses the chemical weapons, to force him to go to negotiation. I don't think it's going to work if it's only a strike against the chemical weapons because it will be replaced. Those weapons or other weapons will be replaced by the Russians. The critics of the administration are arguing if we pound the Assad regime, then Al-Qaeda is going to take over. Also not true, because if we take out that uh, weapon system, there will be a balance of power between Al-Qaeda or the jihadists and the Assad regime. So either way, basically, a strike against the Assad regime is not going to solve it, but it may be necessary to limit his weapon system. But the president said more than a year ago that Assad has to go. Isn't that supposed to be the goal, ultimately, of any strike? He is saying morally and politically he has to go. He did not say we will have him leave his palace. That's a big difference. And the fact that his administration did not act really in 2011 where we were in Iraq, when al-Qaeda was not penetrating the opposition. Assad was boxed, completely isolated. We missed 2011. We had elections in 2012. And now we are two years and a half after. So definitely the price of having Assad leave is going to be much higher than, than before. The president is facing this one almost alone. I mean, even our steadfast allies, the British, have said they are, are not going to get involved in any kind of military campaign against Syria. What does that say? That is really um, a problem for the administration not having at least the British. Uh, maybe the French will be uh, with us in this strike. But again, this is going to be a limited strike. It's not going to change definitely the balance of power inside uh, Syria. What is important now is to look at the big design. It's not just about those chemical weapons. It's about the regime and who are our partners inside Syria. Once this is clarified, that we can get to a third party inside Syria, not Al-Qaeda, not Assad. We have not done our homework on this issue two years and a half into the conflict. We haven't done our homework. Why? I mean, what, what's the, what's the holdup? The holdup was that in 2011, as I said, we did not seize the opportunity that the revolution was made by demonstrators, by civil society. They were not yet militarized. We could have worked with them, given them some visibility and pressure, I said. Once the opposition was penetrated by Al-Qaeda, every time a delegate is going to go to Syria, is going to meet the opposition, he's going to be surrounded by Islamist militias. So we sort of lost that window. Now there are partners in Syria. I'm thinking of the Kurds. I'm thinking in the south of the secular military. We need to do a better job in working with a third party in Syria, not just looking at the Islamists or looking at Bashar al-Assad. All right. We are going to hear, as we've said, from uh, Secretary of State Kerry within the next couple of hours. We hope to get some more information about all of this then. Waleed Ferris, thank you. Thank you, John.